This is KB and welcome back to the Afterlife server where we are currently standing in my storage room. This is a little bit of a need in that. Ooh, I want to say that word inadequate. That's a hard word to say. This is a bit of an inadequate. It's useless. Okay, the storage is useless. It's small. It doesn't work. So today we are going to build a grand storage room that has auto sorting. Now, in case you are unfamiliar with auto-sorting storage rooms, let me give you an idea of how it would work. You would have a chest where you dump everything. Everything you have, and it will be automatically sorted into a bunch of chests in your storage room that you have already labeled. So let's let's say this is the dark oak chest over here, and then you, you can add as many of these modules as you want, but we're just going to look at one. So I want my dark oak logs to go in here. So what you'll do is you'll have your chest where you can dump them. That will have a line of hoppers just to take it around your storage room. But then we need to lock this hopper over here because we only want the dark oak planks to go through. And to do that, you will just have a, a line of planks that is in line with that hopper. So one block down, you're going to place the planks. Then we will have the comparator pointing out of it. Redstone dust, redstone dust. One step down, redstone dust. But now we're going to go back that way with a repeater, another block, and then you have your redstone torch. That effectively will lock this hopper over there. And then this one is just to get the products into the chest. So if we then dump dark oak planks in there, should start automatically coming into this one so i'm not a redstone kind of creator i love redstone but i'm not good at tutorial things so this is not a tutorial just wanted to give you an idea of how these modules work so you can visually see it so what i will go and do now is we will then build many of these modules right next to each other i'll give you a quick sample here those will point in that direction this i can take away again and then we'll have this whole module here, copy pasted, and again copy pasted, and again copy pasted, and that, that's kind of the idea. That's how it boils down. You can just duplicate it as many times as you need. Hope this makes sense. I'm still in the process of collecting all the resources I need. I have a ton of it, and you can get an idea of how big it's gonna be. I need to get some more hoppers, so I'm kind of AFKing for iron. I think we'll go to the shopping district and buy more iron, otherwise this is going to take too long. So I hope I didn't bore you, I hope I just gave you a good idea of how this is going to work. So let's continue, head to the shopping district and do some shopping. I see things are still insane over here. I am still not going to ask any questions, I am just here to do shopping. And I want to actually, let's buy some extra rockets real quick. I want to at least get... No, I don't want to get... Uh, where's Justin's rockets? I want to support my friend Justin over here real quick. Get a couple of rockets. One diamond for three stacks. One, two, three. Have a diamond. One, two, three. Have another diamond. Yeah, we can get a couple of rockets, but we're actually just here for iron. And I, I think this grand evil corporation has some iron. So I'm going to grab some over here. Three stacks for one diamond. One, two, three stacks for a diamond. One, two, three stacks for a diamond. Will that do it? Let's do one more. Uh, I can AFK for iron, but it takes me so long because my farm is not super. It's not a very good farm. It's just enough to have it running in the background and automatically making a little bit of iron in case I need it. But it's not good enough for grand projects, which I don't really need a lot of iron at this point. So it's good enough for what it is. But anyways, I'm going to head back, collect all of the resources I still need to actually build this fully functioning auto-sorting storage room. And then I'll probably see you when we do a little bit of a time lapse to clear the space where the storage actually goes.
I completely forgot how easy it is to clear a space if you have a beacon. When you start new worlds, you forget these kind of things so quickly, even though you played on your other world so long. But there we go, this is the space clear for the storage room itself. Now the design I'm going to use, you'll, you'll see in a bit how it looks, but I built it in a way that I can duplicate it downwards, build more rooms if we need more space. I didn't want the room to be too big, because I don't want to run around like mad to get to one item on the other side of the storage. It's pretty compact, and uh, it can be duplicated outwards, but this should be all of the resources we need to actually build this storage room, which means I'm ready to go. So I'm gonna get started, uh, get a floor in, and probably lay out where the chests should go, and then we can put in the redstone bits. We have the floor mapped out, and as you can see, this is kind of the layout of the room. I'm gonna put the chests in in a second. Let me give you an idea of what is going on. This is the main room with our little workshop in the middle. Uh, there's some more things I'm gonna add, but we'll get to that in a second. It's going to be some supporting pillars going and then on the sides around this room we're going to have our chests there's going to be double chests that go along the line like that at the back we'll have a maintenance area where the redstone bits are and we're going to have access on this side to get on top of it because we need to put filters in place so we can get on top of the redstone there and i'm thinking i'm gonna have a three high double chest system so this will be stone this is maybe cobblestone this is maybe what is this called again deep slate whatever the case is but that's kind of the, the layout of the room and then we'll just top the room off with some decorative details at the top and I think it's gonna be enough imagine this room full of chests I think it's enough storage because I don't know I don't collect that much no I collect a lot but I don't want more than three double chests of anything. Uh, I think that's the idea. Let me get this chest in and get the redstone bits in. I don't know if you know this about me, but I love to automate things. If I was any better at redstone, that would be the only thing I did. Automation. But I'm still kind of getting a hang of redstone, so that's why I don't do it too much. Though this season I've been doing it a lot. So that kind of proves my point. But anyways, this is the current state of things. I have all the chests in place and this should be a good start. And then if we need more storage, we can just go down. And you can see I have a line of hoppers in place. Now on the surface, I'm gonna have a chest where I can just dump all the items. And this hopper line will basically just feed it into the storage room. So it's just, it goes straight through. And then if cobblestone is on that line there allowed through, then it will go into the chest that makes sense. That is allocated to it. But that does mean we need to add in the next line of hoppers, which is basically the hopper that is going to be locked to a specific item. So if this is the cobblestone line, that hopper will have cobblestone in locking it. So if cobblestone runs through these hopper line it can only go into this chest because of how it's locked does that make sense if this one is dark oak planks then only dark oak planks will go in there it will make sense when we have it in place but this is the current state now it's time to bring in the redstone so let's build one line let's see if i can actually build one line here so what we need uh that's gonna be the hopper itself so i want to place a block on that side so the hopper I don't know why but people say to point it in that direction so I'm doing it then we have one two three lines there one there skip a space one there and we need to bring that up and I think that will do it so we'll take that away so one block below the hopper you have three planks then you come down with one plank skip a space and another plank now we need to get up there so let's just do this get up there grab our comparators we're going to take a comparator signal out of that hopper. I fell down. I'll get back up there. Then we're going to bring redstone dust onto this block. We'll take a repeater back that way. And then we just need a redstone torch over there. And that effectively locks this hopper. As long as you have placekeeper items there and you have... Is it going? Oh, there's no other just add one for demonstration that should go down to 41 and that will effectively lock this chest to dark oak planks there we go so technically this will be a dark oak plank 
in this storage. Now I just need to duplicate this for all of these chests. When the machine is actually in place, it looks pretty intimidating, but technically it's not. It's just the same thing we duplicated. But if my calculations are correct, all of, all of the chest lines should be locked now. I do need to get the filter items in there and then whatever other item you want over there. But those, those will get in place as we start moving things into our storage. But yes, we have a nice maintenance area. We will close this up. And then I just need to finish the decorating bits and then the center console. And there we have a more than adequate storage room, finally. It's auto-sorting, well, not yet really, because we do need to get the chests up top where you can just dump things into. And we need to get all the filters in place and label these chests, but those will happen as we start bringing everything into the storage room. Now you can see the center console area is just a very basic smelting and crafting area. Just, just basics when you need it. We'll build a super smelter at some point. I'm thinking of maybe building it on this side. I don't know if there's enough space for something like that. We'll figure that out when the time comes. But yes, now it's just time to move all of the items in. Get that little drop of chest at the top. And then I want to create an overflow safety net at the bottom in case I did not allocate an item. Then it doesn't get stuck in the system. It just goes out into chests at the bottom, which is another area. Basically, this will be a chute that goes down into another one of these storage rooms if we need it. Otherwise, we'll just put a trash can at the end, a auto discard system at the end. But yes, that is it. I love how it turned out. The roof could probably use more details, but overall, it looks pretty good. Once I have the item frames in place, you will, you will see the final product as well. And this is basically the base colors this season, trying to use kelp in a design and have all of this dark. I think, I think it looked good. I am happy with this storage room. And it is complete. Well, except for actually moving all of the items in, that we will do over time. But on this side, we have the overflow protection coming down here. So in case I did not allocate an item to a chest line, then it will overflow to there. And as I said later on, that will probably be a lava trash can. And then, as you can see over there, some chests are peeking through. If we run to the surface, you will... Ooh, it's nighttime. Death is coming. But if we run to the surface, you will see I added a quick little chest here by the creeper. Right over there. Ah! <laughs> that will allow us to just dump everything. And I quickly want to show you what I did over there. I added two hoppers underneath every chest to speed things up. So you can see there's two hoppers. So it will unload a little bit faster, I think. But that goes all the way to the top. So that should be perfect there. The redstone is perfect and beautiful. The maintenance access is perfect. Beautiful. Overflow is good. The entrance is okay for now. This whole place will probably go away and become something else. We'll see what we do with that. In time, we will know. But there we have it. We have, we have a, an auto-sorting storage room that just needs to be filled up. But yeah, I do think that is going to do it for this episode. Ooh, before you go, there's one thing I noticed. I can't open these top chests. So I may swap those out for spruce stairs, because that should be the closest color to the strip dark oak log, I think. But I'll deal with that. I will deal with that. But yes, that's going to do it for this episode. Let me know what you think about my storage down below. And if you are new around here, you're welcome to subscribe. If you enjoy what I do, of course. But yeah, that's going to do it for this this episode thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time where we will probably start working on the ravine maybe we'll see if that holds up